What is up guys, it's Jess here. Thank you for checking in again. Gus is right here. Up, so as you guys can see, I currently have the IS300 behind me. I'm currently letting the, uh, the headers actually cool off because I did a little before exhaust note video. But for right now, uh, I actually got the car on the scales. Let me go ahead and show you that. So I, got, I didn't show you guys this because I did this last time and there's no point of showing you guys again. But I just got them on the scales. Uh, I actually do have a quarter less of gas, so the car is reading lower than it was before. It's currently reading at 31.98. And it's expected because I think every gallon of gas weighs about five pounds, if I'm not mistaken. But for right now, I'm gonna start uh, working from under underneath the car and see you what it looks like down there. Definitely a lot of oil because it has 268,000 miles, but we'll get it done. All right, guys, I didn't really record myself installing the headers, but, but as you guys can see, the headers are installed. Uh, I just didn't really record it because our friend actually came over and I didn't want to be recording with him here. But yeah, the headers are in. We're going to go ahead and install uh, my stock ones onto Gus's IS300. So that's where I'm actually going to record. I'm going to record the process of us taking out his OBXs and throwing in the stock ones because it's actually harder to throw in the stock ones than it is to put in the OBX ones. So uh, what, what I had to do was actually take off the whole uh, throttle body, but that wasn't really an issue. It was on like three bolts really holding it on. But uh, for right now, uh, let me show you how much the car weighs after doing everything. The car is currently weighing 3180. Uh, I believe the weight before was 3198. All right guys, to start off, I guess you'll just have to take off if you have an aftermarket uh, upper strut mount. You just want to take that off from here to there. After you've taken off the strut mount, you want to take off the intake, which is you can either use a flathead or you can use, I think that's a 10. After that, you'll want to disconnect the MAF sensor. Um, then you'll be able to get the intake off. So you'll want to take off uh, these two bolts that are connected to the exhaust and the downpipe. You'll then need to take off three 14 bolts that are connected to the header and the downpipe. Remove this, what I believe is an O2. You're gonna need a 7 8 wrench. All you do is just simply do lefty loosey and it should come out. So in order to free up the header, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and, I believe it's another O2 or something of that sort. It, it regulates some sort of air. So it's this plug right here. And then you're gonna go up over here to the front. Uh, there's another plug right here, another plug right here. After you would uh, disconnect those three, it should be freed up, the header itself. But before you actually take the header out, you actually need to free up the throttle body because in order to make it a smooth and easy job, uh, you have to free up this space here. And so where you're gonna start is, this is the simplest thing you can do. Uh, you're gonna wanna remove your throttle cable off this little hinge. Uh, so after you do that, there's actually two tens back here. I'll remove those right now. After you move those two tens, this bracket itself would actually move out the way, allowing you to have some space. To be able to get this actual like engine harness out the way, you're gonna wanna unplug this plug here, uh, do undo this 10 here, also this plug here, and uh, I'm not sure what size this Allen wrench is, but you're gonna wanna do that too, and after that, you'll be able to move that winding harness a little to, that, to the right, allowing for more clearance. So the next step to free up your throttle body even more, uh, it's actually to remove this bracket right here. It's, it's held on by four bolts. Um, in our case, it only has two, 
of being reason being because uh, we had a nut get stuck on this stud down here and we went ahead and extracted that nut and then extracted the stud so we currently have a nut here there should be one down here another on this side you can see we have it there and then it's missing one right here uh, we're just we forgot where we left that one but there should be four in our case we have two after you do that uh, you're gonna mo move on to the stud back there it might be a little hard to see but there's a stud back there I mean a nut back there it's a 12 uh, that's the the rod that the throttle body like moves on and then you'll remove this this and this 12. All right guys, so after you've taken off the throttle body, it should look like this and it should give you enough room to take off the headers. Um, you'll need to disconnect this hose, this cooling hose, and then this plug that goes connected back here. The cooling hose is right next to it and it should be easier to take out the headers from there. I also disconnected the harness and just moved it to the side right here so I can have more room. And now we'll get to the bolts. Gus is gonna demonstrate how to take out the headers. It's that simple. It's that simple. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw in the new ones right now. Or not the new ones, these are actually his headers over here. Uh, they're the exact same ones I have, but here you have uh, some actual mileage on them so you guys can see they actually turn blue with time. He actually runs them pretty hard, so that's how they turn. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw that in right now so you guys can see what it's like. Oh, and you also do got a uh, Put your O2s onto this one. Still gonna throw a check engine light, but. Race yeah. car. Here's a comparison between the OEM uh, headers with cats and the OBX with no cats. Here's a downpipe to the OEM one, and then this is the OBX downpipe they include. So, you can see a difference. Alright, guys, everything is put back together. I put the Megan Racing bar on top, I put the Canon intake back, and as you can see, the headers are back in. Have all the O2s connected, um, the MAF, pretty much connected everything, tighten everything up. Everything's good to go, just gotta connect the battery and let them rip. Ricer. What a ricer. Look at that ricer. Ricer.